Hello guys, it's Algridas with some playing tips and today we're going to talk about vibratum. So I received a request from one of my followers um, asking to teach how to do vibratum. So there are four types of vibratos. Uh, slide vibrato, which obviously applies to trombones. Um, hand vibrato, which uh, usually uh, is used with a smaller instrument such as trumpets, horns, um, tenor horns. Um, there is stomach, um, air or throw vibrato, which um, is usually used by uh, less experienced uh, players or in some cases uh, by the singers. And this is one particular method I suggest nobody would use. And the last one is a jaw vibrato. And this is going to be the vibrato I'm going to be talking about today. So jaw vibrato is probably the most common type of vibrato and is especially uh, common with lower brass instruments just because of the size of the mouthpiece. So we create vibrato by moving our jaw. So the movement which is happening during the jaw vibrato is created by the side muscles uh, which are located right here. So the way I usually teach my students on how to do this vibrato is I try to get them to imagine um, the word ya yeah when they play a note. So I try and make them say word or phrase ya 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 when they pl pl play a note. So if I was to do that without um, having an instrument in front of me, it would look So obviously it's a little bit different once you put the mouthpiece on. So there are multiple ways of how you can practice um, this particular vibrato, but uh, the way I like teaching it is with metronome. And let me just show you a quick demo of how I do it. So I've set my metronome on 60 beat per minute and uh, the way we're gonna play this is starting with eight notes, then switching to triplets and finally transitioning to 16 notes. And there are two things to consider when it comes to jaw vibrato, uh, which is width and uh, speed of your vibrato. So obviously the speed is um, determined by how fast do you move the jaw and the width is how open uh, do you make the space, the space in between your lips. So you should kind of experiment both speed and width in order to find the vibrato which you like. And um, keep in mind that vibrato can um, be used not only for musical ideas but in order to project. So there is a lot of good brass band players um, who use very, very, very wide vibrato when they play in a um, big, big brass band in order to make that big projectile sound. And um, even though it might sound a little bit ridiculous if you were to play a solo, uh, it's not gonna be an issue when you're um, in a brass uh, band or a big band environment. So anyway, let, uh, let us just uh, go to the exercise. So we're gonna start on, on the middle G of a um, uh, concert pitch F. I find that note a little bit easier to vibrate than like lower notes. Uh, you can start on um, mid C or treble B flat, or concert B flat. Anyway, we'll start on G. And this is how it goes. So let me just quickly change the angle of the camera so you could get a better look of what is exactly happening uh, with my jaw when I do the vibrato.
hopefully by now you have a good understanding of how Java vibrato works and how to practice it. Uh, it usually doesn't take all that long to get comfortable with uh, using it, but the big issue is kind of long-term use in the musical context. My personal experience, I find that a lot of players, I'd say a vast majority of players who um, use vibrato often or on a regular basis, use it very distastefully and they only develop one type of vibrato, they get comfortable with it, it becomes a habit and they use it on every single long note, every single lyrical melody and um, uh, they never mind whether the music is being dramatic, being calm or whatever and um, me personally I find it super vanilla and boring so I highly encourage you to kind of think about it, plan it, and make sure you're conscious of how you want it to be used, record yourself, listen to yourself, and uh, maybe you're thinking that you're doing certain vibrato and whenever you record yourself you'll hear that, oh crap, it doesn't sound anything like I thought. So I personally um, use vibrato, oftentimes I use a vibrato which um, is kind of postponed, so I started a node with no vibrato and I add vibrato slowly and it gives the feel that the player is fully uh, in control of the musical idea, fully in control of his technical skills and I like mixing it up, so if it's a dramatic music I put my vibrato a little bit faster, a little bit wider, if it's um, calm music I do it vice versa. So anyway guys, Hopefully it was uh, useful and informative. If you have any more questions, please post them on my Facebook page, which I'm gonna put the link down in the description box below. Please do me a huge favor and share this video on your social media platform, help the channel grow. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button right here or here or anywhere here. <laughs> anyway guys, um, thanks for watching and as always, stay safe, work hard and keep motivated. Till the next time.